Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create solid layer for background. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, change color to white, click OK and lock layer then select this layer object and drag and drop into the composition and select magnify drag and drop composition and mail drag and drop composition here and also don't forget to select cursor and drag and drop here so for now let's hide cursor and select this object let's press s change scale and move to right and magnify press s chain scale and mail compensation chain scale and let's enable title action save okay so in this time let's go to shape layer hold this icon and create ellipse tool hold shift and make one ellipse like this and chain stroke with 22 and inside color white and stroke color let's use this color click ok so in this time let's select shape layer and change name circle one and select circle one let's click here for source size and change size like this and let's hide object magnify and mail okay and in this time select circle let's hold control double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center Clicization tool, move to left. Okay, and let's control D for duplicate and move to right. Again, let's select circle two, control D for duplicate. Again, move to right. Okay, select this mail, let's enable and move to up like this. And press S, change scale and select magnify. Let's move to up here and press S, change scale and object let's enable move to up and put here press s chain scale so in this time select the circles and change stroke width 15. in this time let's select this circle one and go to window let's open animation composite 3 and open starter presets and transitions to the layer and I will use overshot scale from anchor point select circle 1 magnify circle 2 male circle 3 and object and select all of them layers use overshot scale from anchor point click in so let's say animation okay this is very fast let's select these marks and move to right for more slow animation let's see let's move to right more in this time select the circle and magnify let's see okay select circle 2 and mail move to right and circle 3 object move to right for step-by-step -step animation let's see okay that's good let's close to the layers and open fx to the layer and to the layer transformations okay let's use casual position and rotation Select this magnify object and mail. Let's click apply. Let's see. Okay, and let's change intensity 25. Okay, so in this time, select this object and change intensity 15. And this mail, change intensity 10. And also magnify, let's change this 20. So let's back to starter precoms and shape elements and let's see timing. Select this magnify, let's move to right. Move to right this mail composition and object composition. And in this time, let's create new null object for control all scenes and hold control, double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center, click station tool and select all of them layers without 
cursor and link to null object. Select null, press S and change scale. Okay, let's see. In this time, let's use particle animation. Select particle fireworks, click add and close window. And let's move to the left. First use for this circle. Okay, again, control D, move to right and move to right here. Again, control D, move to right for less circle. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. So let's go to shape layers, hold this icon, select ellipse tool and hide all of them layers and enable title action save and create one shape layer Clization tool and change stroke with zero and go to color let's select color yellow click ok and move to behind of layers let's go to window enable align and click this icon and this icon for move to center shape layer and close align select shape layer press p and let's create new passing keyframe and go to first second let's move to down and go to here and select second keyframe move to up and go to 10 keyframes move to down again 10 keyframes move to up again move to down again 10 keyframes move to up and again move to down like this select all keyframes make it easy and select less keyframes move to the left let's see Select keyframes, right mouse keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. And select keyframes, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's zoom to here. Let's see. OK, let's create graph like this. And this. OK, back to keyframes and hold shift press S, open scale, click this icon and change scale 25 go to next u frame change 125 and go to next u frame change 85 again next u frame change 105 and next u frame change 95 and next u frame 102 and less one change 100 and select u frames make it easy let's see Select scale keyframes for random keyframes, hold alt, move to left. Okay, very nice. And let's enable another layers. Select these particles, objects, circles, and move to right. Move to right more. Okay, that's good. So right now select this cursor, let's enable and move to up to layer and press S, chain scale. Okay, press R, chain rotation and move to down. Okay, and let's press P, create new passing keyframe, go to five keyframes and move to up like this. And let's see. Okay, hold shift, press R, open rotation and create rotation keyframe, chain rotation like this and go to here chain rotation like this and make it easy select work area let's see okay go to graph editor select this graph and make it smooth and select last few frames move to right and in this time let's go to one keyframe create new rotation and new passing keyframes and go to three keyframes and let's move to right and chain rotation go to again three keyframes and move to down and chain rotation like this okay go to again here chain rotation like this and move to up again go to three keyframes move to down let's see okay this is for bounce animation Let's select work area, let's see. Okay, this very speedily. Select keyframes, hold alt, move to right. Also these keyframes. 
Nice, I like it. And after click animation, select this circle 2 and press S and mail to press S, create two frames for scale and go to 10 Q frames, change scale like this, change 90 and this 25 and go to 10 Q frames again, select 4 Q frames, copy pass and make it easy. Okay, select the sketch frames, hold alt, move to the left. And in this time, let's create new person Q frame and go to 5 Q frames and move to the left and go to middle, move to down and change graphs. And this graph, let's see. Okay, select the last three person Q frames, hold alt, move to right for slow animation and let's go to here change rotation like this go to next few frame and chain rotation here let's see go to three two frames one to three let's move to right cursor and chain rotation go to three two frames one to three change rotation and move to down cursor Again, 1 to 3, chain rotation like this. Again, 1 to 3, back to rotation like this. And go to here, let's move to this position and select work area. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with position Q frames. Select position Q frames, right mouse, Q frame interpolation, change current settings to linear. Click OK. Let's see. Okay, this is very fast. Select these Q frames, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, that's good. And in this time, let's create new person Q frame and go to five Q frames and move to right. And go to middle. Move to down. Okay, and right now let's change rotation for middle Q frame. Let's see. Okay, and go to next Q frame, chain rotation. Nice, and in this time, select this position Q frame and go to pen tool. Hold this icon, select this convert vertex tool and make this line for smooth. And in this time, let's go to three Q frames. Again, chain rotation and move to up. Go to again three Q frames. Let's chain rotation and move to down. Let's select work area. Okay, and go to three Q frames, one to three. Change again rotation and move to up. Again, go to three Q frames, chain rotation to left and move to down. Again, select Q frames, hold Alt, move to right. And in this time, select last Q frames and move to down. And chain rotation like this. Select last few frames, move to right. Let's open mail conversation and create simple animations. Select paper layer, shape one, go to first second and press P. Let's create new passing Q frame, move to down and go to 10 Q frames. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press space down keyboard and move to up. Go to 10 Q frames, select first Q frame, copy pass and make it easy. And let's hold alt, click time icon for open expression and use presets, go to property and loop out duration. Let's see. Okay, select three Q frames for slow animation, hold alt, move to right. And let's go to here in this time, select this layer two, three, four, five and six, link to shape one. Let's see. Okay, and let's go to window, open animation comes here, anchor point mover. Select layer 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Let's click this icon for move the anchor point to the left. Close window and press S, create scale Q frame. And let's turn off these icons and let's change scales 25.
Okay, and let's hold Alt, click Scale icon, Play button, Property and Loop Duration. And again, hold Alt, click Scale. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. So, close window, let's see here. Nice. And select this object layer and go to anchor point, move it down, Anchorization tool, go to here, press R, and let's create new rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe, chain rotation, again 10 keyframes, chain rotation, create random rotation animations. And say keyframes, make it easy, and move to the left. Let's copy keyframes, go to last keyframe, Control V, and here Control V. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments, have a good day. Good luck.